Here you go. You're going to love this. This is all real time. Just started reading this book a couple weeks ago. I'm going to finish it today. Right here, page 128. Some astrologers mark the beginning of a new age by the occasion of a grand alignment when Jupiter aligns with Mars and the moon is in the seventh house. The age of Aquarius begins. The age of Aquarius will be, we are told, a time of peace and love. Well, that's entirely up to us, isn't it? And what planet breaks you from the status quo? Which one does that? I'll leave that for you to research because this is really difficult for people to grasp, understand, and realize. So I can't do anything but show you what this stuff is supposed to be and meant to be. Because the earth means heart. If you take the H at the end of earth and move it to the front, you spell the word heart. This place was always meant designed for love because we, as humans, do the research, Google it, study after study, year after year, we're found that really, in our nature, we are born good. So this whole, we're, this whole stealing, killing, betraying, lying, that was something that was taught to humanity. Okay, that's not who we are deep down. We are born good. Even the scientists say that. So this is, a, this is supposed to be a time of peace and love. One planet takes love. One planet gives love. One force takes love. One force gives love. One force separates. One force unites. But will it be ushered in by a major slip of the San Andreas Fault in a wave of earthquake activity around the globe unprecedented since seismology began yeah and that's why they know they know it's that with this new age of aquarius there's going to come a cataclysm like there always is and they want to build their new world order their new system their dawn of a new day and they know because if love builds it then they lose because love is harmony so they're just at the most basic level there wouldn't be this massive income gap you wouldn't have 10 billionaires that own 90% of the world's global wealth. Wouldn't be that way because love is balance. Love is harmony. And that's what this place is meant to be. We are told a time of peace and love. Only if we make it happen. That's what all these predictive programmings, these movies, all this shit. People, if you don't change this, this is what your future looks like. So this is all your choice, and people just don't, they do not get this. And so you will get what you choose, and it's all fair. You are not the victim. Making, appeasing this tyrannical god of famine, war, pedophilia is not going to make things better because it's not what it's meant to be. This is the whole, this is just a huge ego battle. This is about being right. That's all this is. This is about thinking that you can change someone. This is Lisa Simpson arguing with everybody in the episode of The Simpsons when she's going out with Nelson the bully. And they're like, why are you doing that? She says, because I think I can change him. That's what this is. It's all a battle of ego, man. And it's right there in front of your face what you're supposed to do. But... But stuff ain't gonna lead the way, people. But whatever, man. So just you can find out on your own. You ain't the victim. What have you done for love today? Because you're going to need love. You're going to need love in a time of peace and love. And it don't come free. Freedom isn't free. It costs folks like you and me. And if you don't throw in your bucko five, who will? Freedom costs a bucko five.